Hello. Emotional red flags that you should be watching for. Thank you for watching The God Principles. This video is going to cover red flags and where they come from and that they should not be ignored. We've seen that human behavior is affected by being raised by alcoholic or drug addicted parents, but also in emotionally abusive environment. One of the things that I've run into in my life was the red flags. In relationships with women, there are emotional red flags and they come out of abusive or alcoholic and addicted parenting situations. They are characterized by being able to go from zero to a hundred just like that. Their inability to modulate their feelings on a level of their emotional maturity. But this runs very deep in their spirit. When I was being raised, I was raised in a normal family. My mother died at the age of four. I'm not gonna say that caused a lot of problems, but it did cause some serious problems that I cover in another video. More importantly, my dad, he suffered from PTSD from World War II, so he couldn't control his feelings very well. He suffered from a concussion. My brother, he was the bad apple in the barrel. He was stealing from the family from a very young age. It was so bad, it left, it left the whole family scarred. My mother had to sleep with her purse under her pillow in order to feel safe. My dad, he was a CTA bus driver. He would come home on the weekends, well, during the afternoons for his afternoon break, and my brother would come into the house and steal money out of his changer, and when he went back to work to turn in his change, he would be short, and he would come home all pissed off. This left me with some emotional scars, because it went on for so long, it was so bad, that when I turned 18 and I was working at the post office, I was bringing home my own money, I had a car, my brother started stealing my money, my clothes, he even stole my car. The police called because they caught him driving in my Pontiac Firebird and they knew he was too young to be in a car like that. It was so bad that at the age of 20, I couldn't control my feelings. I hid the car and hid in the closet. When he came home, I sprung out that closet and I was ready to beat the mess out of him. I had a pair of nunchuckers. I was in the karate at the time. My mother caught me and jumped on my back and my brother jumped out the window. So I understand how rage and being out of emotional control that it can stem from abusive environments. Now, I'm sharing this with you, but I also have eight years in recovery I've been trained as an addiction recovery coach. I have psychiatry, psychiatrists and teachers 
that I work with as a personal brand strategist. So I've been able to consult with them and I have a lot of experience and training and a lot of aspects of red flags. Hi, I'm Charles of the God Principles. Hopefully you're enjoying my content. I'm trying to, hopefully I provide you some valuable content that educates you and shows you how to recover from emotional, spiritual, and mental problems. That is the sole purpose of the God Principles. To free people up from limiting beliefs and let them know that there are solutions to problems that they may have. But this is not going to be from some education perspective. It's going to be from my experience. My goal is to reach up to a million people with this information. But I need your help. Could you subscribe, like, share, and comment? It'll go a long way to me building this channel and signaling to YouTube that you like the content. Now let's get back to the video that you're currently watching. I'm sure that you're going to like how it ends. I was actually working with a client and this is what the God Principles is really about. I was dating a woman and I was having these strange issues with her. And I had a client, she was an artist and she wanted to put her artwork online and in talking to her I looked up her background because I'm putting it on her website I'm developing her website and find out she's a psychiatrist in Washington DC pretty famous too and I started discussing what I was going through with this woman and she told me this I told her I was trying to have a relationship with this woman. She said, she said, you can't have a relationship with that woman. That woman don't have a relationship with herself. That just shows you how God will put things in your life when you need the information. So I'm here in the Philippines and trying to find a suitable relationship with the opposite sex but I have to be mindful of these red flags see I come out of an environment where I was an introvert not an introvert now but and that stems from my upbringing but when I went into recovery one of, part of my therapy was to study people because I have such a limited exposure to various walks of life. When I went into recovery, I was supposed to study the people and behaviors in recovery. Not only did I study myself, I was studying everybody else. I got a heck of an education out of that, of the various behaviors that stem out of personal brokenness, emotional hurt and pain. And here in the Philippines, alcoholism is a big issue. They're having a drug addiction problem. I think it's methamphetamines is a big deal here. And so it's real important for me to be real careful who I associate with because I've learned from recovery, people, places and things and the people, places, and things of the people, places, and things. So I don't even want to get close to anything having to do with using drugs or any of that. I'm running the other way. I don't have any more rescue missions in me. I didn't did that once. We have a saying that said, they'll get you high before you get them clean. I've lived that one. I don't need to do that one again. So I want to thank you for watching. Click like and click share.